Officer Jason Rayner, the Daytona Beach police officer who was shot in line of duty last week, remains in critical condition. The accused suspect, Otho Wallace, later captured in Georgia. And while the community awaits justice, there has been a huge outpouring of support for the officer. West Coast Claire Met says it seems that everyone wants to be part of the effort. I have customers that are calling me that can't be here that are buying tickets and donating money. Mike Mulholland owns Sea Spirit Charter Fishing in Pond Inlet and decided proceeds from a Sunday charter will be donated to Officer Jason Rayner and his recovery. He's a local guy and he gives a, he gives so much to the community by protecting our community. Mulholland expects the upcoming charter to generate $5,000 and several businesses, Mullinax Ford and Down the Hatch Restaurant matched it. Mulholland says the acts of kindness can be big or small. One of his regular customers, Big Joe, pictured here, was the jackpot winner for the biggest catch during a Wednesday charter. He immediately came over to me and handed me his winnings and he says, I want to donate this to the police officer that's in need. The Daytona Tortugas are fundraising for Officer Rayner. And Rayner's strong yard signs at $20 a pop are flying out of police headquarters. And a lovely gesture from the owner of Steve's Famous. Miss Diner. I honor Jason Rayner for, for his sacrifice and what happened to him. It's just a terrible thing. When Chris Maronis and his family heard about the violent attack on Officer Rayner, they decided to support all law enforcement. During these summer months, uniform officers will eat for free at the three diner locations. This is the only way that I know how I can help them because of what they do for us. You know, they keep us safe, they keep us, you know, free from harm. We told you previously suspect Othel Wallace waived extradition, expected to be returned back here fairly quickly. For security reasons, however, we're not told exactly when. In Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.